looking crazy. Got on the motherfucking Raider outfit. Raiden outfit. Blue samurai shit. Alright, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Y'all already know what it's about. Young Thug. No, my name is Jeffrey. That's not my name. That's that nigga's name. But it was all right. It wasn't um, worth the hype. It wasn't really nothing different. Now, the way that he was premiering songs, you know, for the for the joint, you would have thought it was about to be something crazy. I know it was for me. I'm like, yo, this shit, this shit made me crazy. Cause you know what I mean. After the I'm up and you know, slime season three, all that type shit. You kind of in a way understand his lane for what he do. Get a little closer. So you kind of understand what he do, right? And the simple fact is, the way if some people say, yo, Young Thug don't kind of um. He's not progressing as an artist, like, you can't get mad at what he do if it's nothing new. Remember when Wayne used to do all that singing shit for like so fucking long? So, you know, every fucking song, mixtape, whatever, just him singing, harmonizing, talking about three subjects, women, pussy, and money for so long, but people still gave him credit, right? And so at the end of the day, you can't get mad at Young Thug if you don't get mad at Wayne. So many other artists do the same shit to where they keep consistently doing it. And at the end of the day, you can't pick one nigga to say, oh, he hasn't changed his uh, style since this project. All right, and so many other artists did. So I just wanted to get that out the way. And his Instagram um, was definitely misleading as fuck. It's like you hear the songs, and I understand what a song, he could be listening to in a car, and it's like a 30-second clip or some shit. But the songs... From what I heard, I think one or two of them from the, his Instagram post probably is on his project, even though I listened to the whole shit. But it, it wasn't, it didn't have that impact like I thought it would. You know what I mean? As far as the content, I thought it was going to be fucking crazy, like bangers. It wasn't. You know, so I'm like, all right, I, I heard it when it dropped. You know, the first stream, I'm like, all right, I'm going to listen to it. I didn't, you know, I didn't get anything from it, you know. Listen to it again. Come on, I know this nigga. Mm. You know, so I literally, you know, uh, heard this shit like five fucking times. And it still, it didn't give me the the the, the hypeness of, you know, as other projects did. I supported it, you know what I mean? I don't believe in just, you know, hitting it off with a stream and that's that. And to get the full sometime impact of a project, even though it's on that piff now, sometime you got to buy it, call me dumb, I still believe in supporting music. And I listened to it the fifth time and I'm like... He could have just put like five or six songs in this shit and it would have been cool. You know what I mean? Because that's all I took away from him was five records. Like, I didn't really understand the titling of it. It's like, these are your idols. What does the gorilla got to do with, what do you idolize about the gorilla? You and Future just now cool. What do you idolize about him? Rihanna is like, Dollar the Wayne was your idol. The Birdman was your idol. So I'm confused and yeah, we know the content in the fucking songs don't have nothing to do with the titles. You know, um, do I think that the Future Swag record, he trying to sound like Future? Eh, that's not for me to say. Y'all can say that. Not really my thing. But, um, yeah, it just, it was alright. You know what I mean? Um, the production was cool. You know, I'm not going to front on that. But it's not the best production that we've seen from this nigga. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like some songs were good, some was like lackluster. Features was straight, you know, Quavo came through as he always do. I was surprised at Offset verse, you know, um, that was pretty interesting. Duke was whatever, uh, Gucci Man. I like how that record, it's like when you listen to it, you listen like, okay, when the fuck did Gucci verse kick in from Thug to uh, Gunna? So I like how they mixed that in because you couldn't tell you had to really listen to the song. So you niggas sit there and say it, like that song was kind of whatever. Or you didn't hear a verse, you didn't listen to the song. Cause I, I had to run that back ASAP, like, the fuck? What a Gucci? Oh, I literally had to put on my drapes, like, I cannot hear this nigga Gucci, man. The way they did the vocals was kind of, you know, unique in a sense. But pretty much, man, that's basically you know, it. The songs I did fuck with, track one, track four, track six, 
10 and um, 5. You know, those are the only ones that I fuck with. And pretty much the songs I think is alright, that probably can, I'll probably like them later. Track 3, track 8. The ones I didn't fuck with, track 2, track 7, track 9. Just couldn't get with them, sorry. You know, call me stupid, but them shits is not really where it's at. He didn't do really too much rapping, but I'm not really mad at that. Like I stated earlier, I don't really give a fuck if he raps or did a melodic singing shit. But um, one particular song really stood out to me. The Riri song. Now, was it me or did the niggas sound like Rick Chomi Kwan mixed with a Warris? Like that shit, I was rolling. I literally almost fell out the bed to that shit. Like what the fuck is this shit? I like the melodicness, but I think... And is the background vocals, is that Wyclef or that same sound like Wyclef? Whatever, but I definitely think for all you motherfuckers out there that do like little memes and all this type shit, and little viral videos, definitely use that ad lib on track five. That er, 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 like that shit be hella funny. Like you kind of creative, create some shit with that. I know y'all be loving the memes and shit, but yeah. Other than that, um, the only song on this motherfucker that really was a banging ass song to me was Future Swag. That that one just really stands out. You know what I mean? So other than that, man. I get a shit a 6 out of 10. I like 5 of the records, like I said, production out of 6, but my name is Jeffrey is whatever, you know what I mean? Um, slime, slime Season 3 and Bar 6 and even I'm Up got more hit records. I'm not saying hit records as in Billboard, but songs that, you know, you can go back to. At least each of them probably got at least 3 to 5, you know, club bangers on that shit. This shit is... What the fuck? I don't. Then the album cover. You didn't want to. The, the first one's born. You you on a horse. That was kind of weird. But the whatever, nigga.